The 2018 ICC Women's World T20 was a landmark for the women's game. For the first time in history, the event would stand alone from the men's tournament, broadcast to millions around the globe. Guyana, St Lucia and Antigua in the West Indies would provide the stunning backdrop for the 10 nations involved to showcase their talents in the shortest format of the game. 23 action-packed games would decide where the coveted trophy would be heading. The first game in Group B between India and New Zealand provided some sensational cricket that lit the touch paper of what would prove to be a truly memorable tournament. Go straight, what a shot! Goes again, it sounded so, so nice off the bat. Jemima Rodriguez scored a half century for the Indians, but the standout performance came from Harmanpreet Kaur, who hit a stunning 103 from just 51 balls, outlining India's intentions. Harmanpreet Kaur has risen to the occasion and completes the three-figure mark. Kaur's brilliance rocketing India's total to 194 from their 20 overs. New Zealand replied in kind with their own superstar Susie Bates scoring 67 from 50 balls and creating history of her own to keep the Kiwis in contention. Susie Bates becomes the leading run scorer in international T20 cricket. However, none of the other top order batters could match Bates' brilliance. Oh, has she got a little edge on this? Yes, she has! In her first T20 international, spinner Dayalan Himalata was the pick of India's bowlers, taking three for 26 from her four overs to ensure a comfortable win for India by 34 runs. A game which will be fondly remembered for that sensational captain's innings. Harman Kaur has risen to the occasion, comes back for a comfortable two and completes the three-figure mark. What a magnificent century from the captain. The best innings I have seen and uh, that's what uh, stood out and that's that's what happened and uh, Harman took game away from the New Zealand. She's really caught hold of this and a terrific shot. Six more. Goes big and has the distance. What a shot. This time it goes further. Such a good shot. Smashing them is Harman Preetkar. Goes again, it sounded so, so nice off the bat. And the result is even further again. I like to hit big shots and uh, hitting sixes is always like uh, give me more uh, uh, like a positive uh, sign on the batting. I think uh, I was really enjoying that day. For a while she's been a deputy to me and it is but natural for uh, for the management to make her the captain. And she's a very good T20 player. This format really suits her type of game and uh, you need a player like that to come forward to get the team together because when you have someone like uh, an aggressive player that she is, she gets that energy on the ground for the, for the players to revolve around her. She's very expressive when it's come to uh, her captaincy. She, um, she tells you what she's expecting and uh, it, it makes it kind of easy because you know what she's expecting and we can work towards it. It's really a proud moment for me. It was one of my dreams to lead the country in the World Cup. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, the more important I want to enjoy it because a very few players will get this opportunity and I just want to enjoy it. In Game 2, the three times winners Australia began with an opportunity to underline their credentials against Pakistan, also in Group B. The Australians chose to bat and dictated proceedings from the off. 137 runs out of the total Australian score of 165 shared between the top three batters Alyssa Healy, Beth Mooney and Meg Lanning. The Australians losing five wickets from their 20 overs and scoring at a run rate of 8.25 and over. Off the back of her knock of 48, Alyssa yeah. Healy was just as impressive in the field, making yeah. two stumpings and taking two catches to help Australia cruise to a 52-run victory. Game three of the ICC Women's World T20 saw hosts and holders the West Indies up against Bangladesh. Some incredible bowling and fielding from the Bangladesh team saw the hosts reduced to 50 for five. Who wants it? Bowler going for it. Keeper going for it. Oh, can you believe it? 
The West Indies recovered to finish their innings on 106 for eight, and a potential upset was on the cards. That was until Deandra Dottin was introduced into the attack. Bold, Deandra Dottin, she's picked up two wickets in this over. Chops on, the feet have gone nowhere, but the ball has found the woodwork. Knocks her over, what a great delivery that is. Deandra Dottin, she takes her fifth wicket. She hits the stumps yet again, and she's the wrecker in chief. The West Indies begin the defence of their campaign with a win. A stunning display of fast bowling and incredible figures from Deandra Dottin that will stand the test of time. Just that raw talent. She's very fierce. She's definitely a world-class player. She's got that Caribbean flair. To have her on our team is such a privilege. The only things that I don't do is keep. <laughs> I see myself as a role model for the younger ones. Take the team as far as I can with both bat and ball, knowing that I'm one of the valuable players on the team. She's one of those players from any team that you'd say can just take the game away. We are just one family, um, having that togetherness and that fight and that, that determination, you know. It just makes you want to like continue to play cricket. You know, just get up there and play cricket. No training, just play cricket. Torrential rain in St Lucia meant the Group A fixture between Sri Lanka and England was abandoned without a ball bowled. Match five would see India up against fierce rivals Pakistan in one of the most exciting games of the group stages. And it doesn't get much bigger than these two teams are playing this morning. Pakistan had just 10 on the board and were two wickets down when Bisma Maroof took charge of proceedings. Oh, she's bringing it all out now. Bisma Maroof picks up her first international half century. India could have reduced Pakistan to a very low total had their fielding been on point. Oh, missed. We were talking about some fielding earlier on and there's another example. Pakistan's Nida Dar capitalised on those drop catches to hit 52 from 35 balls and take her team onto a competitive total of 133 from their 20 overs, which would take some beating. Beautiful shot, excellent placement, lovely timing. That's bread and butter for Mitali Raj. Nicely timed by Mitali Raj, and she's managed to put it away again. This time she goes leg side, and Mitali Raj goes on to just another 50. Despite poor performance in the field, the batters have done the job. India, one of the favourites for the tournament, winning their opening two games of Group B with relative ease and edging themselves towards a semi-final place in Antigua.